Hello everyone and welcome to So Many Games Little Time. My name is Joachim and today we will be unboxing the expansion of Role Player Adventures and maybe some other stuff as well. We'll see. Uh, so this is what the uh, package looks like from VFI. Uh, we have some loose stuff. We have this, which we'll soon see what it is. And then we have this pack here and it is heavy, I have to say. Well, if you thought the original box was heavy, this is not any lighter. All right, so we have some special shape foam for some reason. Okay, so we can move this out of the way then, and then I will show you what this stuff turns into after I remove all the plastic. Okay, so this is what was in the box. We have the new rule book. We have the expansion of role player Tales of Eulos. So I'm going to put these two to the side first. I'm going to look at this first. Now, I'm not going to spoil everything, obviously. I'm just going to show you this and then go like this. So basically, it is a uh, graphic novel, a comic book, whatever you want, however you want to describe it. And I'll zoom in a bit. There we go. Maybe it's a bit easier to read now. So basically, Tales of Eulos, we have Kamon and Pitlin, blackjacked buccaneers. Kamon and his partner, Pitlin, know the streets of Cutty's Landing like the back of their hands. Every shady tavern, every dark alley, all the best places for all the best cons. So nothing could go wrong with a simple hustle to help the thin streets widow, could it? And then the next story is Zalik and Sailbeth, secrets of the spell thief. When someone starts murdering the king's guard in Sabek City, Commander Zalik takes it personally. What, this, what his investigation uncovers will test his loyalties and his friendship. And who, or what, stalks their prey in the shadows of the Undercity? It's a bit sad that they had a typo murdering the, the King's Guard, but okay. Zareth and Kaelin, the Wood Mother's Woe. Inside the ghost-infested Forgotten Forest lives Zareth, the Witch of the Woods, full of secrets. She will do anything for the Eye of the Starlit Door. At the edge of the Forgotten Forest, the unscrupulous brigand Killen preys on the gullible. She will do anything for gold. And the ghost-infested Forgotten Forest? It has its own needs. And then finally, Tog and the Gatekeeper, Trial of the Ogre Kings. The Dragul people live peace lived peaceful lives free from the decrees of kings. That is, until their northern homelands were destroyed by Nalo's magic. Can Tog the Ogre Herder stay true to himself in a crazed and desperate world? And what will it cost him when the fate of all Dragul rests on his shoulders? So yeah, it looks cool. I can't wait to give it a read. And uh, yeah, so then let's take a look at the new rule book in general. So I'm going to zoom out a bit because now, of course, we zoomed in too much. I think that should be fine, right? Yep. So open this up. It's not only a new rule book, it's also a uh, campaign mat as well okay so there's a bunch of them so you can do more campaigns obviously but once again you know you can always laminate this although I've, i don't know if it then sleeves underneath the player boards but yeah so here's a new rule book the the third version as you can see okay so components so this is from the base game okay not from the expansion Okay, importing characters, campaign setup, adventure setup, key concepts. Okay, bluestone fireball, skill checks, combats, exhaustion, advancements, saving the campaign progress, and then adding removing players, legendary mode to make it more difficult. And then the glossary, the icon glossary. Okay, so just seeing this already makes me want to continue the main game, the core box, because I started doing that, uh, made some videos, but then the interest of the videos kind of waned and other stuff came in, so I stopped playing, but it is pretty high in my uh, top 100 already, so uh, feel free to check that out as well to find out exactly which spot the game is. Anyway, role player adventures, Keith Mateshka, James Ryan and Peter Ryan, Gulpak's secret expansion. So more bunk. So here we go. 
and there, here, and here. And this is the back of the box. So uh, you can see it is actually a all new campaign for the cooperative story story for the cooperative storytelling board game for one to four players role player adventure. So it's completely standalone. Okay, ages fourteen plus one to four players ninety to one hundred fifty minutes. So it has a bunch of new stuff. Uh, but no, it's not standalone. It says it requires role player adventures to play. Ah, okay, it's just a new campaign. So you still need the base game. So watch out, and it's not a toy. All right, so let's open this baby up. Okay, I'll put it. There's nothing inside, right? No, no hearts. Okay, so of course there's going to be. Sorry about the shaking. There's going to be some stuff that I can't see. You know, stop. Do not shuffle this deck, and so on. Stop. This is the rare deck. Don't look at it. You know. So obviously. The cards I'm going to stay away from and unless I'm allowed to. So these three, the Discovery deck, the Tile deck, and the Rare deck, I'm not going to open these, okay? And then, of course, we have uh, another one of the boards that you use to put underneath in your player board, right? Then uh, we have the characters. Now, that is interesting, of course. We're going to take a look at that. So we have Grizz. Wait, can we see his name there? Okay, I'm not gonna read, read the names because it's difficult to read, and the names are here anyway. So we have him. All right, he is a he's a gnome outrider, Gizlak Paxmort, a caretaker as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have this one, who is a Craxis metal boar, dragonkin, a rogue, and a celestial. Uh, we have uh, Vinks Keshi, a Bastia scout who's culpable. And then we have this one. Markith Nox, a dark elf, an enchanter who's also a bookworm. All this stuff makes sense, right? And then we have Krillian Sturmir, Kaika, or Ka Kaika, I guess, magician split. Okay. So it's a single consciousness, but it's split in two, apparently. Yeah, two minds joined together. This guy. Ultrix Tokag, a Saurian sorcerer who's an outcast. Now, when I played my uh, adventure, I actually just imported it from Roleplayer. But yeah. And then we have Erit Dryleaf, who is a druid, Sheki, transported. And then we have him. Who is a Scribic Nighty Frockin, of course, Elementalist Gatekeeper. So his name is Scribic Nighty. Oh, these names. Whew. Omega Tailwind, he's an elf, hunter, and apprentice. Then we have Raj Krastik, an orc, alchemist, who is also a craft craftsman. We have Lyra Finelin, who is a halfling bard. And a Dreamweaver. Then we have Corvus Malan, who is a human beastmaster and a savant. Then we have Silvac Lorgan, a Minotaur barbarian who is doomed. And then we have Grimmel Brock, who is a dwarf centurion who is lost in time. Oh wow, he was trapped in a stone for many years. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, then we have Grush Skull Dagger, who is a Vargar warrior who is tormented. This one's cool. Well, they're all cool, but Topaz Clintlock, a construct cleric, a wanderer. I'm also a construct in my, in my uh, campaign. I'll link it down below if you want to see the original game, uh, the unboxing and the campaign. Obscuro Renasa, a dark elf paladin, who is also an oracle. Uh, and then we have Nira Astralos, a Wrath-born priest who is also haunted. Yeah, this all kind of makes me reminds me of Baldur's Gate as well. I played one and two, and now of course three is fantastic. Well, they're all fantastic, all three of them. If you are playing three at the moment, be sure to check one and two as well. They are definitely worth it. All right, 
This is a little bit spoilerific because I'm going to look at the, some of the cards of the enemies and so on. So if you prefer not to see it, then I suggest you skip forward. There's timestamps. I am going to look because by the time I actually play this, oh, I will have forgotten already. So here we have the typical player aids, so no problem there, right? And then all the enemies, 112 enemies, all right? So we have a dwarf. Actually, I'm going to move this to the side for now because it's not really useful. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to sit down. So, a dwarf, a drone, a cathandor, a cyclops, a giant spider, a giant beetle, alpha zero, zombie, Yuvan Rokta, Squag, Saurian, Imbri, Frost Giant, Yonlok, Dobrik, Lamar, Wendell, Nayo, Urzon, an elf, Bone Golem, Pulgor, Adlan, Verash, Kaika, Landrus, Crystalline Frog. Yeah, there are some changes though in how they do it now. I like that. Hazan, Direwolf, Werewolf, Ice Bear, Awook, Gimnax, a Flare, I see Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate, <laughs> Gulpax, Nayo Emissary, Giant Crab, Eregrun, Giant Rats, Lazarax, and this is something special, I guess. Kethra's Threshold. Oh, it's like one big thing. Okay, these are really spoilers, so I'm gonna just skip all that. All right, There's, those are the enemy cards. All right, three, two, one. Okay, so these are the enemy cards. I actually went through them. I think they're a bit too spoilerific, so I'm not gonna put them in there. I'm sorry if you were waiting for it, but just know there's a lot of them and there's some very special ones in there. But of course, you know, it's a bit too much of a spoiler. Okay, then we have here, Explorer's Guide. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out a tiny bit. There we go. Uh, yeah, so maybe a bit more. There we go. So as usual, we have it for, I'm not gonna go through it, but these are all the stories. So you can see color wise, there's quite a bit of stories. There's quite a bit of stuff to do, right? And the first one is Adventure One Festival of Heroes. And uh, yeah, so there's more than enough to see here. Once again, I can't really show because it's all spoilers, right? So, Next up, we have a big pack in the box. Oh, here we go. With this in there, the catalog, but also the rule book and all the stories. So I'm gonna take off the plastic. Okay, this was at the box, in the box at the bottom. So this is the last piece of the box actually. So I'm gonna put it back in. It just shows you now, to give you an example of the base game, the differences um, are the top is all the same, okay? Except it says group pack secret. XP, gold, titles, everything else is the same. Only the bottom is different because in the main story of King's Favor, Starlet Door and Dragul, here you've got Queen Gimnax, Kulpax and Drago, Dragul Alliance, and also profession titles. That's also new. Everything else is the same. All right, so we have the catalog. Wow, very interesting. If you want to see it just go to tw games i'm not going to spend any time on that this is says cool packs and um, i guess it all has to do with the weight first of all before i do anything that i'm going to regret is this some kind of 
art book or because um, it says here school packs journal right it doesn't refer to anything i'm going to check the expansion book first and see what they say about school packs journal because i don't want to start spoiling again um okay it says here you need role player adventures but not actual role player of course but like i said before in my initial game i imported my role player character and that makes the game more difficult FYI. So you want to have a more difficult start, then you just have to import someone from a uh, role player. And uh, yeah. It says when preparing, make sure you use the, uh, the, the correct party journal. That's fine. I'm looking for the Gulpax journal if they say anything, but it's not immediately mentioned here. Um, resting. Legendary mode, not really. I guess maybe it'll come up in the actual story when we're playing. All right, so basically this all has locations and everything and, and, and items, okay? So that's what this has, as you can see. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through this, I think, no. And then we have the maps. I will show the maps uh, because we're gonna see the, the, the maps don't, spoil it much anyway just the location but you can't really see what's what's going to happen so we've got this one so it's still the same as the main game okay uh, we have a temple of eulos yeah. so it's one and two and this is five already i don't know what happened to three and four five and six already yeah there we go it looks pretty though as usual this one is actually supposed to be straight but then i don't want to adjust the camera it's supposed to be like this okay and this one is upside down all right look at this awesome 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 and this is the map of euros okay let's take a look at the storybooks but it seems to be they're not in the correct order. Let me see. Okay, we have. Let me just put them in the correct order here. So we at least have that. Hop, hop, and hop. And this. And this. And this. Okay. So, Festival of Heroes, the first one, storybook. Okay, so I guess here we uh, we have we can see the setup and everything as usual. The prologue. Ah, and it starts with each player select a unique profession from the list below and write it in the player box. So those professions are animal tamer, blacksmith, bodyguard, gambler, herbalist, inventor, jeweler, and miner. Wow, oh, I really like it. Okay. So, yeah, nice. And they all have their different things, of course, that uh, will reveal stuff. All right, so a lot of stuff here. Festival of Heroes, then Servants of Eczema, sorry, Azima, not Eczema. Okay. Then we have the Hive. And just to have an idea of how big these are, I think they have, they have okay, this is 51 pages. All right. Adventure 2 has 55 pages. Adventure 3 has 49. Adventure 4, Ascending Catherine's Step, has 51 pages. The Saurian Wasteland has 55. This is bigger. The Frozen Expanse is 71 pages and then adventure 7 the arcasian pit has 87 pages and then we also have the scrying pool which is the epilogue that is of course thinner that has 35 pages but i think it's safe to say there's a lot of gameplay in here um, so basically how many adventures seven adventures or so seven sessions that you can play and that means you just play it once but then you can uh, play it with a uh, second character. You can play it solo with more people. And as you know, this game has 
different choices and so on. So I'm sure the replayability will be quite high. I mean, just playing role player, creating your character and everything is already worth it. Okay, so basically, role player adventures, cool pack secrets. Uh, I am super excited. Of course, I should first finish the original campaign before starting this one. But uh, yeah, this is definitely a game that will stay in my collection 100%. I love it. It's cool. And uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit difficult balancing on the, uh, you know, spoilers and no spoilers and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'll just always put it on the screen as well to make sure this is coming now. If you don't want to see it, skip forward. Okay. I'd also like to uh, remind everyone uh, if you just want to come by and have a chat or whatever, the Discord server is down below in the description and also other stuff to support the channel if you feel like it. Okay, all right, thank you very much. This was uh, so many games for the time. My name is Joachim and always will be. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Oh, and a quick FYI um, there's no insert. So all these cards, all these decks, these cards and everything. Um, I'm not sure if they go into the main box. I doubt it. So I think I could be wrong. I can't check. Okay, I could be wrong. But it's a bit sad if they have to be in a little baggie in here. Uh, while the main game, of course, had an insert. So once again, I am unsure if it fits the main box or not. I don't have it here. I'd have to check later. But um, yeah. Just so you know, that might be a bit annoying for some people. <laughs>